Well, there's the beast. Sure, yeah, it's gone. Right. I was thinking I won't be fighting it for proper now. as well. Any more monsters want a piece? I think actually, I haven't brewed any portions in a while, and I think I just saw a fireplace here. I did. Let's see if there's anything I can brew. Cat portion if I ever need it. I should have looked into that one, Mark. Mutagenic Portion grants one bronze talent. Certainly should be buying that and then consuming it. I'm going to have to meditate, then consume the potion, then meditate again to level up that bronze talent. It's another, there's another drowner there. Oh, he can wait, so... Here we are, one bronze talent. Right. Monster law, oils... Place of power twice. Po poison resistance plus 50%. That sounds pretty decent. Well, other stuff is there. Deflect arrows, parry 10%. Actually, I think I'll do parry 10%. Makes sense. Then I'm going to go and hand in this contract quest to the Reverend. Get some orange for it. Best deal with these drowners again. this one off. Probably getting quite a nice amount of XP off these guys though. Which is always a good thing. Right, to the Reverend. More monsters. Probably got a nice amount of these Barhes skulls to sell, to be honest, and they probably sell quite nicely. Here's another one that's about to turn. No. 
see if the reverend's home. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the Eternal Fire illuminate your path. Nice trap waiting for me. Let's have a look. So I still don't have the entry for ghouls. Need to see Mickle for that. Let's have a look. I might go back to the inn. Because I believe there's a quest that I'm missing. I think it's optional. But there's a guy that I'm yet to run into, some sort of traveller that offers you a quest. So I'm gonna go and see if he is there, and if he's not, can I look this? Guess not. Uh, if he's not there, I'm gonna meditate till midday and see if he's there then, because the first time and the only time I've been in that inn is in the middle of the night, like it is exactly now, so he may only appear at day. And there's a, probably a couple of ghouls on the way, because there's usually one it's near the house that's coming up in between these two. I hope it's not there, because they're quite tough to fight. Well, in saying that, I'd always like it to be, so. Some more Bahes. It is there, that's it there. Yeah. Let's take it. Uh, he took a beating, didn't he? He just stood there and took it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Shut the gate on me. Yeah, well done, boys. That took the effort of, what, but two swings? The sword to kill that one, then? No more.
Geralt! Zoltan. Zoltan, you mentioned my vanishing. Any idea why I disappeared? I'm not sure how to tell you, but you died, Geralt. Five years ago, during the massacre in Rivia, I saw some scoundrel stack a pitchfork in your gut. You bled to death on a dirty street before my eyes. Or so I thought. And I've seen enough corpses to know that there are some unexplained cases. From what I remember, witcher mutations significantly changed your body, but that makes it no easier to believe you survived. So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. So how do you play? Let's shoot around, I'll show you. You mean, let's rob me of my money and show me? I know how it works since it's going to be the same as Witcher 2, I presume. So I shouldn't bet high because I know I'm going to get beat by Zoltan, he's a dwarf. It's not even a double. And then you got two threes. Do I want to raise? Well, not really. Right, let's go for the fives. Because he's got threes. I could be safe with the four, but you never know. Let's just go with it. See if luck comes our way. Two fives. Awesome. Getting robbed of all my money already. That's good. That is good. Yes, I do want to raise that. Right, I've got two sixes and two fives. He doesn't even have, oh yeah he does, he's got a pair. So I'm gonna go with just that one and hope I get a five or a six. No, that's a stupid idea. Go with three and hope I get one six. And I did get one six, it's the one that rolled off the board. Yeah, there we go. Three threes, and that was, yeah. Oh god, he's got th he's got three twos and I've got three threes, so I'm winning. Let's go the medium, where is? Give me one three, come on. Cheers for the two fives. Just have to hope he doesn't roll anything that he wants. And he did. Ha. Dwarfs, eh? Cheers, Alton, for robbing me of my money. I'll remember that. Did you want to ask me something? Where's Alvin? Abigail, a local soothsayer, offered to care for him. I hope I did right in trusting the boy to her. She seems strange. I'll look in on them. Thanks, Geralt. 
It's because she's a witch. We'll speak later. What can I do for you? Storage. Not mean to read that. Just gonna keep some Bahis skulls in there as well, just in case I ever need them again. Ten should be enough. Free up some space, get rid of 20 flint. Right, let's go and rest till midday. See if this quest giver appears. Hopefully he's here now. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. There's Vesna again. What can I get you? Right, so there's that quest that I've got now. So if it's outside Vizima's walls, it's probably near where I originally started this. Yeah, there it is. Now, shall we travel there in the day or the night? Because it's safe in the day, but there's no excitement. Let's rid the streets of the monsters like a true monster slayer. Meditated near enough a whole day to get that quest, it better be worth it. I just heard one then. Wonder if the ghoul's back. Doesn't look like it. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, and I just saved your life, Mr. Merchant. Damn squirrels! Assaulting convoys like during the war! Presume the Royal Huntsman doesn't have out else to say to me. Greetings! Take care. No, not else. Right, he's in the inn, but I still don't have this beastry entry. Must be a book for it somewhere. Turn. I was expecting it to. <laughs> Looks like the Night's Watch is still up and running. This is good to see. Full moon. Head over this bridge and then to the left, and then there should be a cave at the very end. More drowners down there. Probably going to get a few attack me here actually, since I'm right next to the river. Give this a save before we go in here. You don't say. Let's have a look. Sounds like there's a few in here to be honest with these things. here in near enough pure darkness. That cat potion probably can go out handy but I shouldn't need it really. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad I took that vitality potion. <laughs> Why is that showing is still alive? Ard works very well against these monsters because it stuns them completely, stops them firing this crap that they spew out at you. Is that it? Human remains. Need to bury his companion. I should talk to the merchant again. It's a very nasty cave, that. It's a fireplace. Alright, I guess I'm going back to talk to this guy to then find out where I want to bury him. So, back to the other side of town. So there's a few drowners down there, I think I'll go take them out. Always nice to get... Ooh, a bit more XP. This water a bit here, it's getting a little too deep for my liking. Even more. 
So to get questions quicker, of course, it's probably better to do it during the day. But you've, if you've been keeping an eye on that experience bar from going in that cave, I've got quite a lot of XP from just killing those, whatever they're called, those creatures in that cave, plus these bar hests and drowners, so it's certainly worth killing them for the XP. See if our ghoul friend's here. He wasn't here on the trek on the way, so I don't think he'll be here on the way back. <laughs> Let's take. Oh, right. Let's wait for this bar has to attack us. And go strong stance for this guy. It though. Oh, what? Yes, I can. <laughs> Tulip, silver ruby ring, a lot of beer. It's fine. Here's the beast again. Just sits there. Vanishes. Yeah. Don't worry, beast, you'll get your turn. It's killing all your minions for now. Swiftly dealt with that. Brave souls wandering beyond the gate. Declan better be here now since it's night and he hasn't appeared at night before.
Any news? These are your friend's remains. What killed him? I cannot say. I don't know what that is, but I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body? But we agreed. We agreed? A decent burial? Or I won't pay? What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. I'm turning into this guy's lackey now. Make a trip across to the other end of town. And since I've done it a couple of times in this video already, I'll save you the trouble and I'm just gonna skip to when I'm outside of the Reverend's house. Right, here we are, and the Reverend is outside since it's during the day, so let's see if he'll let us use it. Speak quickly. His burial chamber. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? I'll take the sarcophagus. <laughs> you or not? Exquisite wine in the world. Don't mind if I do. chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... Interesting. That, if I'm correct, is going to be, well, either a very highly ranked officer or king of the wild hunt. It's probably going to be, yeah. Death. I'll follow you, waiting for mistakes. That's not all. There is death, but there's also free will. I'll find Salamandra and fulfill my own destiny. I'll be waiting, Wolf. Andrian va sauve Leo Turvle. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die because of you. Whoa. I don't want to fight you, Leo. You give me no choice. Whoa. Nice. Red meteorite. Wonder if there's a way to sort of avoid that. It was the king of the wild hunt. 
The wraith was the sp spectre of Leo. It's one of the main reasons I'm really into the witch story. It's ties them all in so well together so people that aren't aware obviously the witcher 3 is due out the beginning of well, february of 2015 probably one of the most highly anticipated games of well dare i say i'm not going to say it all time but it's certainly very very highly anticipated for those that do follow the witcher series so at least you've got tie-ins there so there's the king of the wild hunt so it goes all the way back to The Witcher 1. You don't need to obviously play all the other games to play, say, The Witcher 2 or The Witcher 3, but you've got the added benefit of sort of all these tie-ins and that with all the previous games, and it's it's really good to have all these references and points in them. So I imagine I'm going to level up when I hand in this quest now. Hopefully I'll get a decent amount of XP from it, then I should level up anyway. Then after that, I think it's time to go and see the final one of the three, and that's Mikkel. Any news? Before I do that, let me see what he's got. Nicholas. Ah, just rings, necklaces. Any news? I buried your friend. Sad to end in some forgotten village. It was a decent burial. Then I can leave with a clear conscience. Forgetting something? Ah, uh, your 200 orans. So close to leveling up. Alright, it's time to go and see Mikkel, it will be. Geralt! Can you play poker for serious money? You'd be surprised how popular it is. Fortunes have been made and lost. There are those who take it very seriously indeed. How do I join the game? Join? Geralt is not a sect. Ask around, though professionals aren't likely to waste time playing novices. Any idea where I could start? Around here? Odo, he's got rich somehow. And I know Harren and Mikkel play. And there's me. They're all small fry besides me. But don't fret. Now I'll give you an edge. The real action is in Vizima. When will I no longer be a novice? Win a few times and word will get around. You need to get three, four games under your belt. You'll get the idea. Stand still. I will not play dance. Works quite well since I've got to see Mikkel anyway. Let's head out.